So what I'd like to do is help us to build an intuition for using those uh, uh, time formatting primitives so that we never have to look at the manual. And thus, what I hope I demonstrate is the benefits of Go string formatting over strip time. Uh, and what I also hope you're gonna uh, do is leave you guys with the ability to format time in any way you want without ever having to look up the manual, uh, look up the Go doc or anything ever again. Let's take a look at the actual um, layouts for times. And so Rob Pike actually recently added um, time.layout as sort of a reference that we could use. Uh, I think that was like a Go 1.8. So if I say Go doc time layout, uh, so that'll be the beginning. So layout is at the very top of this uh, comps block. So we get, we get everything, but layout um, demonstrates pretty much all of the, you know, well, there's a few things we're missing, but pretty much all of the um, elements of our reference time that we could use to um, format times, right? And does anybody notice anything interesting about, about the values in this string? It goes from 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06, seven, right? There's also a nine in there. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about that in a, in a little bit. But it goes from month, day, hour, minute, second, uh, year, and time zone. And if you could just remember one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you could format any time you like. There's a few different ways you could augment those, um, those numbers in order to like pad things with zeros or spaces. And there's also a couple of things to remember about like printing the names of days of the week and the names of the month. And we'll go over that. Uh, so um, to start, as you can see, again, we could just type 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, um, 2006, and maybe uh, 0700, right? And of course, what we'll get is, um, the month, the numeric month, which is 10, the numeric day, which is 27. It's 03, 37 minutes, 29 seconds, the year 2022. And my, uh, I'm not sure, I think I actually mistyped the time zone. Um, hold on one sec. Yeah, I'm sorry, it requires a minus. And as you can see, I print the offset from GMT in our time zone by typing I'm sorry, dash 700, right? Um, but we could also, uh, how can I say? So we could also um, print the, uh, like the complete year name. Uh, and so considering that um, the, the mnemonic or the element that we use to print the, uh, I'm sorry, not year, the month is a one, right? That prints 10. Can anybody like tell me just sort of intuitively what, what you would type in order to um, get the name of the current month. So if 01 is represents the numer numeric current month, what would the, how would I re retrieve the name? February. Okay. February, really? <laughs> no. So no, but you're close, right? So 01 is the first month and January is, is the name of the first month, right? And so when I type that out, I get the first month. If I just type Jan, of course, I get the abbreviated one. And since O2 is the, um, is the mnemonic for the day of the week, what, would, what do we normally consider to be the first day of the week? Just for example, like, so if you look at a calendar, what, at least in the United States, what does the first day of the week start with? Sunday. Sunday, right. But we use O2 to represent the, the day of the week, right? So what string or what, what could I type in order to get like the name of the first day of the week? I'm sorry, the name of the day of the week. Oh, I'm so sorry. O2 is a day of the month, excuse me. Um, but we use a similar um, technique in order yeah. to print the day of the week, I'm sorry. So if O2 is the day, Monday. likewise, O2 or the second day of the week will print the, the the, the name of the day of the week. So if I type Monday, um, it actually outputs Thursday. Or if I type Mon, it outputs Thursday. But also, strip time, I mean, sorry, uh, time format, just like strip time, will allow us, will we'll print any non kind of uh, format elements or non formatable elements verbatim, right? So I could say foo bar 26. 
and we'll get foobar out. But it gets a little bit tricky though. Like uh, you know, if I want to say uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, whatever, uh, oh, two years uh, old <laughs> or whatever. Clearly, it's going to replace <laughs> replace that. So it's uh, I wouldn't recommend using time format to print um, verbatim data very often. In fact, I would probably use other mechanisms to print data that you don't want formatted because you can have mistakes like that slip in, right? Um, another thing is that what we demonstrated is that, for example, uh, 2006, print the full four-digit year. Uh, simply 06 will print the two-digit year. Um, I need some more terminal space and I have to rerun this. Uh, likewise, um, printing with the month just as two. If today was a single digit day, uh, simply typing two would not print it padded, whereas printing O2 or typing O2 would print it padded. In fact, we could demonstrate that, right? Uh, so we could say like time now um, add um, minus uh, okay. seven. So we could take 20 days off. So 20 times uh, time the hour. Uh, so 20 times 24 times 10 that hour. Yeah, so if I type 2, 7, right? Or if I type 0, 02, 0, 07, right? Uh, there's another uh, kind of like um, uh, format for the day, which is the day of the year. And so all that requires is that I type two, but to three significant digits, right? So I could say zero, zero, two. That happened to be the two, or at least 20 days ago was the 280th uh, day of the year, right? Um, and finally, uh, we have fractions of a second, right? So. Thank you.